So a slight heads up. Um, the uh, the one lumber was switched. Um, the galley is still sticking with the lumber. Uh, is using a watch instead of their flag. Uh, a very good uh, common tactic for uh, uh, lumber. Well, adapted meta galleons on this map. Um, let's see. Uh, the uh, the riders have gone in a bit closer range too, although they are keeping the uh, the mobula. So. Uh, the, the, both teams have long and far uh, and close range capabilities at the moment. All right, here we go with ship number one. It is the Sorrow, piloted by Finks. Actually, I go. I should go ahead and start my timer. Ah, let's try that one more time. I'm ten seconds behind on my timer. That's okay. Ship number one is the Sorrow, piloted by Finks. It is a Watch a Fish with a double caro side. Ship number two is the Kali. It is piloted by Arius. It is a Mobula with a Hades top, double Artemis bottom, and a Gat flare on the wings. Take it away. Ship number three is the Mahler. Eight. It is uh, a galleon with uh, piloted by Nietzsche's mustache, with uh, double Hawacha right side, Hawacha lumber left side, uh, a Hades on left side, and a flare in the back. And last but not least, we got the uh, Bjork. It's a spar piloted by Infinity Omelet, a Hawacha spar with uh, uh, a mortar on bottom deck and two Gatlings on the top. All right, as action is already underway, as Kali's been balloon broken. Once again, Clan Clan getting those lumbers out, taking full advantage of those balloon pops. That has been Clan Clan's trademark here at SCS 112. Bringing the lumber, bringing it strong. Clan Clan is lumberjack, and it's okay. Especially since they're in the grand finals, it is definitely okay for them. Meanwhile, the Sorrow is biding its time behind cover. Kali looking yeah, to do the same. The same on the Sorrow, to be honest. It seems that Bjork and Sorrow are really uh, sticking back, seeing how the long range poke would go out between the Kali and the Mala. Um, although uh, the Kali is in cover at the moment, uh, no doubt at some point he'll, he'll head out, unless, of course, uh, the riders are setting up a trap, uh, possibly knowing that the Spire is there, um, just waiting for a, a move on uh, Clan Clan's uh, behalf. Indeed, as both teams jockeying for a position on the map. Both sides looking to pick up some spots here. Sorrow has been spotted behind cover. Muller just hiding in plain sight, basically saying, come and get me. Kali, meanwhile, looking to line up shots on the Mauler without uh, trying with trying not to be in risk of the Lumberjack here. They've got a pretty good position to do so. They uh, Not the greatest position, but they're in the right place uh, to, to do something here against the Mauler. They've got good cover using that building. If they stay right there, this is a great spot for them. I don't know if I'd be moving up. I like their current position. Sorrow, however, is moving up very slowly. Let's keep an eye on them as the Bjork is waiting right around that corner. This could be a... Uh, no, uh, yeah, they are waiting right around this corner. Oh my goodness, this could be a surprise watch. Surprise Brawler Spire coming up. Looks like uh, looks like Sorrow got, con uh, got um, informed that the Spire was waiting right there, so he is not moving in just yet. Meanwhile, the Galleon moving up. Oh, they are going to take it. It's a DPS race for the Huacha. Looks like the Huacha is going to win that race. They take out the Huacha of the Sorrow. Both sides knowing exactly where the other one was. Just a matter of who guns first and who guns true. Clan Clan wins that engagement as the Spire pushes in on the Sorrow. Meanwhile, the Kali is looking to back up the Sorrow here. Those Hades coming out, not very effective right now. Now they're getting some Hades shots in. Picking up Balloon and Hall. Kali is almost Balloon broken. They need to be very careful. They're right above a building. Not any building, a boxed building. If you end up in there... Oh, yes. That, that would be very bad. Especially for a Mobula. Don't put Baby in a box. Meanwhile, the Sorrow. Moving in from the side of the Spire. A great flank right here by the Sorrow. Picking up a lot of components... All three engines, three guns. Did they pick up the Huacha? Yes, they did pick up the Huacha. The Kali should have uh, the ability to re-engage here. Meanwhile, the Sorrow getting Huacha'd by the Muller. Muller not picking up any components. No, they pick up two side guns. They do not pick up the front Huacha. Sorrow is still free to engage at this point. Kali, meanwhile, trying to put some shots in on the Muller. Looks like the Sorrow is trying to line something up here. What are they trying to line up? Are they trying to line up the Mauler? No, they're trying to reposition here and go for the Mauler. 
Oh, Mauler's against a building. That's a very dangerous spot. That is a dangerous proposition for any Galleon or any ship whatsoever. Being uh, flat against a building, you're one false move away from getting ram killed. However, Clan Clan is not going to suffer that, as the Sorrow has been hullbroken. As almost five minutes have gone by in this match with no kills on the board. Sorrow is whole broken here. Could we see kill number one of the match? Sorrow is also balloon broken. They still have their front gun up, though. They get that balloon back up. They get the watch it going. They're taking a desperation shot. As there's f uh, five minutes have gone by in the match. Sorrow looking to hydro and do the best they can. No, Clan Clan is going to pick up first blood. Once again, for the third straight time against Storm Riders, Clan Clan picks up first blood the last time they did so. They did not finish it off. This is the final match of SCS number 112. A pause has been called by Storm Riders. Interesting. I don't see a disconnect so far. Is the uh, is the ref going to allow it? Okay, uh, both sides will pause here. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and let my uh, timer catch up to where it should be. Somebody's got connection issues, so it could be significant lag here. Okay, my timer should be caught up to where it's actually it is. Yeah, so it is a connection issue for one pilot. Uh, okay, so it seems that Finks has uh, been freezing a bit on the cold side. Uh, to answer the question, Jake, um, my understanding of the rules is that they can cause a pa call a pause at any time as long as there's not an active engagement regardless of reason. And it's only one time per match. As long as there's no engagement, it should be fine. Uh, so no reason should be asked. It should just simply be a check of is there an active engagement. If yes, deny the pause. If no, allow the pause. I'm just currently watching the Cali kind of drifting sideways. A nice trick on a mobula. Yeah, of course. Now you want to you want to uh, take care of that drift, though. Now that's the one time where you are allowed to move is to correct the drift uh, that has been placed upon you. Yeah, it's it's not that easy anymore because uh, you would have to or any ship if you're drifting sideways, you you. Let's do some yeah. pretty obvious movement. Yeah, with within reason, of course. I mean, with this drift right here, it's like, okay, whatever, you know? That's barely moving. Now, if he goes between the buildings, you know... If he goes between the buildings, yeah, he might want to do something about that. Well, he, he did drift about three, uh, maybe four mobular widths. Um, yeah, that's... that's... yeah. Yeah, and that's the one time where you are allowed to uh, move, is to counteract drift. As you mentioned, it's kind of annoying to counteract that sideways uh, drift on the Mobula. Kali's doing just that, so they're doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. It's perfectly fine. as there's been a call for more buckets of internet for Finks. Now the question is, of course, is, uh, is Clan Clan gonna allow uh, a gentlemanly pause? Or uh, don't know they, yet. Uh, take this as an advantage? Unpause has been called. Looks like Finks is back in, though. He is piloting right now, so it should be okay. Yeah, Finks is moving. Don't know if his internet uh, con uh, connection issues have been cleared up, but he is definitely moving, so... Yeah, he is back, so all good. Oh, it's not good. No, in this situation, a gentlemanly pause... Well, no, I spoke too soon as the engagement has has gone underway, so there would be no gentlemanly pause in this situation. Maul are getting uh, about 70% of their armor stripped. 
Looks like Finks is going to do the best he can here with this connection issue. Sorrow taking the long way around. Oh, the Bjork is out of position to assist the Galleon if the Sorrow gets a good, clean entry. The Bjork is waiting for the call, he looks like. He's thinking it's going to be a front rush from the Sorrow. Sorrow, meanwhile, says, no, I'm coming up the back end. Let's keep an eye on him. This is great positioning. This is this is great tactics by both sides. Looks like, uh, looks like uh, if, if Stormriders initiates this engagement, they will have the advantage on the engagement. Sarah's moving in low and silent, Red October mode. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem that uh, Clan Clan is aware of uh, Sorrow at the moment. Not yet, they will be soon as Sorrow, literally you can rename him the Red October. He has moved in silently on the Galleon, he's literally right underneath the Galleon and not spotted yet. Oh, he's going for the Spire. He's looking for the Spire here, he is ignoring the Galleon. I think he found him. I think he found him. Oh, he found him, all right. There's the engagement as uh, Stormriders wins the uh, DPS race, picks up the uh, Watcha of the Spire. However, that unfortunate Ram rams them out of position. They're going to back up here as they no longer have the advantage in the engagement once that Watcha comes back up. We're going to keep an eye mostly on the Sorrow for right now, as the Mobula is not in this engagement yet. As soon as they re-enter the engagement, we'll keep an eye on them. Actually, we'll go ahead and do so right now. As the Spire moves back in, they've got the side of the Sorrow. No, they've got the front of the Sorrow. It's going to be who gets that watch out first at the right time. Meanwhile, Sorrow staying low. But now the uh, Spire is in a place where they don't want to be. Little cover. Uh, exactly. on both sides. This is a bad spot. They're going to have to turn their back to the enemy to get out of here. They are whole broken. This is a bad spot by Clan Clan. A big mistake by the Spire. 1-1. One, one, all tied up. Big mistake by the Spire there. As the Sorrow's been whole broken and balloon broken, he takes permahull damage from the bounce. Losing about 25% permahull. Meanwhile, the Mauler is getting pushed here. Mauler is getting pushed as the Coley has been whole broken from behind. Spire with a great flank on the Mobula. Double Gats raining down on the Coley as they are balloon broken, whole broken, and ship broken. Clan Clan right back in the lead 2 1. In a great grand finals for SCS number 112. As the Sorrow is caught in no man's land with nowhere really to run. As watches fly, is he going to go down here? He's down to about 20% perma. Spire trying to keep arcs. They're not really going to be able to keep them very long as they are balloon broken. They're going to lose that arc completely. Watches fly, but no kill. Sorrow will be able to disengage. Very unfortunate for the Bjork. They had that lined up. Very unfortunate for Clan Clan. As... Yeah. As ship number two is set to spawn any second here. There he is. Kali has respawned. Meanwhile, Bjork getting very aggressive here. Uh, I have to say, I, looking at the way this match is playing out right now, I'm thinking the Spire on uh, Clan Clan is going to determine who wins or loses. It's really going to depend on that ship's play here. As a uh, hole break comes out on the Sorrow, Spire getting very aggressive and does not pick it up a clutch hole. However, there is the pickup right there with the Gatling. 3-1 blue. Clan Clan just two kills away from winning SCS number 112. Storm Riders needs four kills to win it. As ten minutes remain in this match. Nikali is going to be stuck in an uncomfortable position if he, uh, he stays there. Spire getting very aggressive, moving up way far ahead of their Galleon. They have definitely found the enemy, uh, but they do not want to be going in yet.
Stormrider's looking to reposition here. If I'm Stormrider's in this position, I might want to take advantage of the uh, Spire's uh, uh, aggressive tendencies here. Uh, oh, here comes the uh, Spire on the Collie. We'll keep an eye on that action first. As there's the Gatling out, and there's the Hullbreak on the Collie. Spire looking to make this a 4-1 very quickly as the Sorrow and the Mauler looking to trade watches as the Hullbreak again on the Collie. Uh, no, he gets back up. And there's a Hullbreak on the Collie once again. Spire looking to ram kill it, getting it! 4-1 blue! Clan Clan now one kill away from winning SCS number 112 as the Mauler and the Sorrow engaged in combat as the Sorrow has height advantage on the Mauler. Uh, they have the balloon. They are trying to stay out of those Watchers, uh, watchers arcs here. Right now, they barely have it, even uh, with stamina. I mean, they have the front gun in place. This, yes, the side engines get popped, but that watcher is safe. They have just enough to make it work. Hull break on the Sorrow. They need to be very careful, as if they get killed, then Clan Clan will win. SCS number 112. They are down to 50% perma. Clan Clan smelling blood in the water. This could be it, folks. Sorrow in no man's land with nowhere really to run. No balloon, no armor, no guns, only one engine. Is this it, folks? Spire lining up the ram. Is this it, folks? That balloon is still out. Spire lining up the ram, lining up the Goomba, lining up something. Do they get the Goomba to finish it? No, they don't have the Goomba. However, they do have proper positioning. The ram could come into play here. Spire looking to finish it off. Spire does finish it off, and that is it for SCS 112, as Clan Clan wins its first SCS since SCS 78, picking up a very nice win twice over uh, Storm Riders, uh, winning Grand Finals match number 2, 5-1 over Storm Riders. Clan Clan has won SCS number 112.